Hello, this is Ms. Gleason, the Library Media Specialist. In this video, you'll learn how to use key features of the Sora Reading app on your mobile device or tablet. Hopefully you have already downloaded the Sora app and previously logged in. If not, you may wish to watch a different instructional video first. Let's get started. Click on the Sora app. What you see when you open the app is the Explore tab indicated by the highlighted binoculars at the bottom of the screen. This is where you can find and borrow books, explore popular subjects, or search for a title, author, or series. Since Sora is an app for schools, you'll find children's, tween, and young adult books on the site. Audiobooks are distinguishable with the headphones icon. If you wish, you can set your preferences to the types of books that you'd like to feature. For instance, you may wish to set your preferences audience to young adult and general adult, source term for more mature young adult books. When your preferences are set, click apply. Once you've found a book that you'd like to read or listen to, simply click Borrow and the book is available. Swipe the screen in order to read through. Tap the middle of the screen in order to close the book. And you can always get back to your current read using the circle at the bottom of the app. You'll find all the books you're reading on your bookshelf. Sora books automatically return after two weeks, but you do have the options to renew or return early. You can always go back to the explore feature in order to find more books. The next time you log into or use Sora, the book will remain on the page where you left off. So that was how to use key features of the Sora reading app on your mobile device or tablet. Learn more about Sora at the Library Media Center website or in other videos. Happy reading!